Hey guys, this is D Flash, and we're back with another video. This week we're going to take a look at the brand new Machine 2.0 that Native Instruments just released. Uh, with this new update, they've added a lot of great things, so we're going to take a look, quick look at those, and then over the coming weeks we'll take a more in-depth look at everything. So to start off, they've re rewritten Machine. They've rewritten it from the ground up. Uh, in that they were able to add multi-core support which is something that everybody's been wanting if you've been using machine you'll know that as your project starts to grow um, you start to run out of CPU resources because you're just limited to that one core on your computer and if you've worked with other software and you've got multiple cores you know that you can get quite large projects done um, when you have that multi-core support when you're limited to just one core, you don't have much that you can do uh, when you start to get a lot of plugins running at the same time and a lot of sound effects and stuff. So by adding that multi-core support, they were able to give us unlimited groups and unlimited inserts on our sounds, which is really freeing when it comes to um, sculpting your tracks and sculpting your sounds and building out what you're trying to do. So what that does is that just enables us to um, really shape our projects and um, also one of the cool things that we can do is you could have more than one bank of groups so right now you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H now if you want to expand out to that you just hit the plus sign or you hold down select hit next and then hit the next group that you want to add which is A and you can just kind of keep going like that so what that does is if you have all some of your old projects where you have all eight groups used and you want to build like a live PA set or something like that you could put your next live PA set on the next page and that would make it easier to kind of section out your sounds and things like that another thing that they've added is drum synths which is a really fun addition to machine and helps you to get your own sound in machine um, before you were limited to your sampler or some of the plugins that you had now you have your own drum synths that you can add so to get to those we just hold down shift and then modules and make sure that the type is set to in instrument or the type is set to internal and the subtype is instrument and then we can pull in our kick snare hi-hat tom or percussion Let's pull in a kick. Nice sounding kick. You got multiple engines, so you have your sub, tronic, dusty, rasper, snappy, bold, maple, push. Um, the dusty one sounds pretty cool. Tronic. They all sound good actually. Um, depending on what sound you're looking for, you'll find what you need. So with that, we can jump into building a pattern. So what I, I always like to use the step sequencer. So we're going to pull that up and you'll notice that they've changed up the step sequencer a bit. Now you can see your timeline and your pattern on the step sequencer screen. So what we're going to do is type in, bring in our um, kick. So we'll put in a kick pattern. And then another thing that you'll notice that they've changed is you only have fixed velocity. You used to have full velocity and half velocity. They've changed that to just fixed velocity. So you can adjust your fixed velocity and bring in your sound. And you'll notice that on the screen, it actually shows you the velocity. So you can see right there, that's your velocity and that's where it falls in the pattern. And if you hold down the pad and adjust the volume button, I'm sorry, volume knob, you'll see that how it reflects on the screen. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool ad that they did. I'm um, going to just adjust the tempo a bit and let's hear our pattern. Okay, and then we'll bring in a, sin, uh, a snare, and same thing, we'll just hold down shift, modules, snare, we'll go back into our step sequencer, and bring in a 
tap in our snare. And you can see that we can adjust all the parameters just like any other plugin. So these are very tweakable sounds um, and really fun to, to play with. They've even um, added presets for them and full kits. So you can see that we've got a full kick here that we can bring in if we want. Again, like I said, it's a lot of fun. Um, and we'll dive into those a little more in the next coming weeks. Um, another fun thing that they've added, or a great thing that they've added, it's very useful, um, is the scene arrangement mode. So if you hold down scene, you'll see your different scenes. And then if you hit the arrange button, you can actually see your timeline on your screen, which is great. Um, kind of helps you to remove your you know the keyboard and mouse from what you're doing and actually arrange a whole song on your hardware so we can see here that we've got scene one if we insert another scene we'll see that the selected scene changes here but we don't see it reflected on the screen we can actually turn this knob and zoom out and there's scene two see that there's nothing on there right now and if we go back, there's our other scene. We can duplicate it and zoom out and then we can see that. And then if we go to the pattern, actually yeah, go to the pattern and double the length. When we go back into the scene, we'll see the pattern length is reflected on here. And it's also reflected up at the top. So we've got pattern one up here and we can see that it's two bars now. And we can see that scene two is just one bar. So that works out nice because before, if you had a 16 bar loop or a 16 bar pattern, you wouldn't see it on your timeline. and You would just see scene one, scene two. Um, this works out nice for laying out your arrangement and really being able to see how long the song is and then you also have a time a new time clock that will show you where you are in the song by actual time rather than just by bars and then you can change it back to bars if you wanted to so what else do we have uh, we talked about the drum synths, we talked about the step sequencer, the arrangement mode. Um, some of the other things that they've added is a feedback compressor, a plate reverb. Um, now with the purchase of the upgrade, uh, you'll, or if you purchase Machine Studio or Mark II, the Mark II, you're going to get with it um, Prism, uh, Scarby Mark I, which is a, a piano, an electric piano sound. Um, plug-in for contact and solid bus compressor so they've added a lot of cool ways to really fill out your tracks and um, try to sculpt the full song in here um, there's some things that I wish they would add um, which I think are coming I think that they this is you know 2.0 when they get up to 2.1 there's gonna be some things that I think we're, we've been asking for that's gonna come uh, one of the things that I think really is needed is a way to record your songs. So yes, you can record patterns and things like that, but it would be nice to record an overall song layout so that, you know, you could just like in Ableton, you know, you can record what you're doing and changing patterns and changing clips and things like that and have an actual song laid out that you could t go back and tweak. Uh, another thing would be being able to draw in automation or even record automation across patterns so if you're trying to do a build up that goes across like three different scenes you could actually record that in and and have that on your main timeline uh, i think i think that's coming i think that that's something that we've been asking for that they 
know we need and I think that that's going to come but this has been a great update to machine and I'm really looking forward to see what they add add into here uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to keep going through machine and what we can do with it and the different sound drum synth sounds and different things like that and other things that have changed so make sure you subscribe and check out what else we're, we're doing all right thanks for checking out this video and I'll catch you next week.